going to put up the first video for the FI. So like what I've said in the class and what I've shown you in the class about how you're going to determine fixed cost, variable cost per unit. And you know that to do this, you have two methods. You can go for the simpler high-low method or the more tedious linear regression method. See, we're not concerned about how you do it or the formula. The regression is given in the exam. You can see that the exam sheet will have the formula. So we're not concerned about that. Now we're concerned about the tedious calculation and that in the exam situation, um, it's normal for student that you make a mistake because you want to be fast. Now, so let, let's try an example, okay? Now you're gonna use this example that I've given you in the class, okay? So you just refer to that piece of example. Right, so we, we know that usually to apply the linear regression, you're gonna come out with the working on x value, y value, x, y, and x square. And as usual, you're going to put up all the values here, and you're going to find the total. And you're going to use that total to do your calculation. Now, so if you look at this example we have here, now they say that they've given you production quantity and the TPC for all the four years and they want us to calculate the variable cost per unit and the fixed production cost for 2013. They're assuming there's an annual inflation of 5%. Now, so what you're going to do is you're going to take all the costs here. So your X value and your Y value. Now, but the catch here is before you do the calculation, because there will be an inflation effect, so you will have to adjust this. So you need to have an inflated TPC. And we can just inflate them to 2012, so that you get the 2012 figure. And then in case, like what they say, you need 2013, we'll inflate once more. So to 2012. Right, so inflating at 5%, so 294,500. 1.05 and you're going to power by 3 okay so inflating by 3 years so 340921 and inflating 2010 371653 and inflating 2011 right we will not need to inflate 2012 it's already in 2012 and now you're going to copy all this figure quantity and put it in the workings am i right so you're going to have your x and your inflated Right, so the usual thing that we're going to do is you're going to calculate by just multiplying all these numbers and square it to get the total. And we have four pairs of data. Right, so that's the tedious part that we say. And then uh, if you made a small mistake anywhere in between, you're going to have the whole thing screwed up. And you're going to repeat again. And you realize that you do two times and both figures are not the same. And you're bound to do the third time in the exam. Right, so what we're going to do is we try to use the calculator. I'll show this in the class. So if not sure what to do, 
So you're going to do this and follow the steps again, okay? Now, so I'm going to zoom in. Right, so you can see that um, the mode is D. Right, you got to change this to regression and you can see 3, that means you got to press 3 and you're going for linear regression, you got to press 1 and you can see the mode has changed to regression. Well, uh, it's normal that when you use a calculator, you might have stored some memory, so to make sure that you don't make a mistake. You just press the shift button, shift, and you clear. And you're gonna clear your statistics, which is one. And see, they're asking you, is, is it you're gonna clear? But notice the blinking means they're asking you, is it you wanna clear? And please say yes. Yes, as in you press the equal, okay? Press the equal, and you're gonna see there'll be a blink, okay? Right, notice it's a blink, okay? Right, so what we're going to do now is you're going to key in your x, y value into the calculator in this way. Right, you're going to press 35 value of x, comma, okay? Get a comma, it's the button, comma, and Three four zero nine two one, and to input the value, you've got to press M plus. Right, I'm going to press M plus, and you're going to see it shows N equals to one. That is the first pair of data. Now forty three thousand comma three seven one six five three, M plus forty one thousand comma 356580 and plus and 39200 comma 360 and plus right you've got all the value done okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna recall the value now how do you recall the value now first you're gonna press shift shift okay and you're gonna press value one and the screen will ask you which value that you need so you just navigate with this left right button for the values that you need so if this shows total of x square so just press 1 and they're asking you that you want total of x square and just press equal right that's the value so the value of x square would be this so you just copy this into your answer follow right and you have your again shift one total of x is number two and you just press equal which is one five eight eight hundred and you repeat shift one and press the arrow button now they show you have total of y total of xy right total of y would be one four two nine double five four and shift one arrow and i want total of xy five six eight seven Four seven double two, and sorry, hour of ten. So we have uh, three zero at the back. So I'm squeezing this in. Okay, so it's uh, hour of ten. So the decimal point will move by ten ten spaces. Okay, right. So these are the summation value, and of course in the exam you will need to write down your formula and you just copy from the your your working sheet and just fill in the figures accordingly and determine your a and the b value okay so you just fill in and then use your calculator again shift and press 2 okay 
and now they're asking which values do you need now use the arrow button to navigate and go all the way to the back and they're asking you value for a and value for b a is one and then press equal right so the fixed cost is two two six five three three and shift two again press all the way and then press number two value for b equal is 3.3 per unit right so you've got all this done using your calculator so remember at the end before you finish off this is what you do you just press shift clear and press number three will reset all the memory all the things and go back to the default mode right so this is what you do right so friend don't forget thing this is fixed cost and variable production cost per unit for two zero one two so the question is asking what is your fixed production cost and variable production cost for year two zero one three so what you got to do here is to inflate one small and here you go you're gonna get the answer right so two two six five double three and three point four six five all right Okay, so this is the illustration on how you should apply using that calculator to derive your A and B value using regression. Okay, so um, we're going to get ready for the second illustration on how you're going to draw your PV graph in the coming videos. Thank you very much class, thanks for watching.